Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with some more Chronicles basketball. Nice. 2019-2020 Panini Chronicles Hoops 2-box Fat Pack edition. Those are the, those retail packs right here. Right? With those exclusive bron bronze parallels and whatnot. Also an early bird special in this. If you're one of the first 20, right, you get a shot at an extra spot. So from Oliver down to Gabe, everyone has a shot at an extra spot. New dice roll right here. Name on top after 10 gets an extra spot. Five and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After 10, we've got Anthony. There you go, Anthony. Congrats to you. You've got an extra spot. The early bird catches the worm. All right, now let's randomize names. Let's put the names right here again. Names and teams at this time. Good luck. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a three, five times each. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we've got Steve P. Down to Tony F. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, there's five right there. We've got the Orlando Magic down to the Wizards. Rough day for the Magic today after their game one upset over the Bucks. All right, Steven with the Magic. I don't know. We'll see what happens in game three. Anthony, with your early bird spot, the Hornets and the Suns. Uh, Andrew, with the Timberwolves. Thomas, with the Trailblazers. They're playing my Lakers in a little bit. We've got Gilo with the Grizz. Nice. Michael, with the Sixers. Jeremy Port, with the Clippers. Anthony, with the Cavs. Eastwood, with the Nets. Stephen P., with the Raps. Michael Lyons, with the Mavs. Rick Serrano, you got my Lakers. Josh Proust, with the Warriors. Robert Victoria, with the Jazz. Matthew G., with the Pistons. Jeremy, with the Knicks. Gary, with the Celtics. Jeremy, 33 with the Pacers, Chris with the Atlanta Hawks, Eric with the Spurs, Ollie with the Bulls, Corey with the Kings, Nicholas with the Pels, Michael, there you go, Nick, Michael with the Rockets, Chris with the Thunder, Robert with the Heat, Jeremy 33 with the Nugs, Big Boys 007 with the Bucks, Tony with the Wizards. Remember, the only vet commons that do ship, so veteran commons won't ship in this except for Giannis and the uh, Bucks. Let's actually sort this by... Column B by team. The Sacramento, Kings. Sacramento Kings, 12th pick. All right, and um, second year Luka Doncic will ship. LeBron in the Cavs. LeBron Lakers will ship. And that's it. And draft lottery is happening right now. We're gonna, tonight we're going to find out who, probably in the middle of this break, we're going to find out who is going to be the most expensive team next year. So we got picks 14, 5 through 14 is going to happen right here. 14th, Celtics, 13th, Pelicans, 12th, Kings, 11th, Spurs, 10th, Suns, 9th, Wizards, Knicks at 8. Ooh. Wow. Knicks are in, in the 8th. Wow, that's rough. So Hornets and Bulls are going to be in the top four. Wow, Pistons at seven. Hawks with the number six pick. Hawks executive disappointed. Fifth, I'd be disappointed too. Cavs with the fifth pick. Interesting. So I get a top five pick. Interesting. All right, any trades, ladies and gentlemen? OKC, uh, Hornets, Suns, Cavs up for trade. OKC maybe up for trade.
That's more like my, my, Michael McDonald doing that song. Man, that hasn't that song needs to be back on the playlist. We haven't seen that in a little bit. No thunder for any of those three. OKC okay, for Cavs maybe or no? Maybe Chris is saying no. I think. Or no, yes, he says yes. All right, nice, exciting. So Chris Erickson is out. I saw the video running, right? Yeah. Chris Erickson has the uh, is out of the Thunder spot. And there's Anthony right there, out of the Cavs spot. And both say done and done. Great. Let me officially make that official. Okay, C for Cleveland confirmed. Check mark. There you go. That's in the chat. So Chris, you're now in the Cavs spot. We'll put a little T next to there for trade. To, just so if you're following along at home, you can see who draws first blood in the trade. Put a T right there. All right, TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip. nicer on the spreadsheet there there we go just gotta make it look nice all right there are the two boxes right here chronicles basketball the fat pack edition or value pack whatever you want to call it we're looking for a score insert which is exclusive to this set and exclusive bronze parallels is what we're looking for All right, here's the final printout, hot off the presses. There's the trade right there. So thanks for hanging with us on a Thursday. We got the draft lottery happening. Pretty exciting. We're gonna find out who the top four picks are gonna be. What is, what is best for the hobby? Top four picks, what's best for the hobby? Maybe Bulls? Bulls maybe? Warriors? Warriors have a shot. Will everyone say it's rigged if the Warriors get the number one pick? James Wiseman number one says Sean Corbett doubling down, but he won't bet with Nick. Here we go. This is basically what we do at the shop when we're not on air. Yell at each other about sports takes. There's LeBron warming up right there. Let's go, LBJ. Show him why you're the king. All right, so it's Bulls, Timberwolves, Hornet. Bulls, Warriors, Timberwolves, Hornets. Those are the top four right there. One of those teams, some combination of those teams are going to be top four. What you, oh, my God. Oh, those are so important to me. Oh, man. Bulls are the fourth pick. Hornets. Wow, it's going to be it's going to be the Warriors. Steph Curry's happy. Second pick, Warriors have a top two pick. Crazy, that's insane. And so that's the Timberwolves. D'Angelo Russell is going to have a, have a number one pick, not a number one teammate. All right, there's Luka Doncic. Even though second year Luka Doncic is carry some weight war uh Mavs Michael Lyons So D'Angelo Russell, Jarrett Culver, 
Remember, he's he's a top ten pick from last year, and they have a number one overall pick. That could be a really interesting team next year. Kobe White will still have a top five pick running with him next year. That's going to be great for the hobby. Hmm, interesting. Well, Timberwolves will be pricey next year. Oh, this is this is technically the bronze right there. Got to keep track of all the different parallels that we've got to find in here. Is it, is it a rigged system, Coop? Yeah, I feel like there's a better way to do this, but I don't, I don't have an idea of what it would be. At least the lottery process. LeBron James Crusade. Sean, you think Wiseman's going to be a Ke Kevin Garnett? That's a that's a that's a bold take. Put, putting putting KG on Wiseman. That's un undue pressure, I, I would say, especially going to the Timberwolves if he even goes number one. Steph Curry's going to have a top two pick playing next to him. So who is the, who's, who's the early favorite for a number one overall pick, ladies and gentlemen, or your personal favorite? Sean thinks James Weissman's going to go number one. This John, John Morant's both going to uh, G-Lo. Oliver thinks Weissman more Bosch-like. I wonder what the Warriors will do. I feel like the Warriors will... Well, I don't know what the free agent market is like, but I feel like could the Warriors maybe move move that number two pick? Jay Billis has Anthony Edwards number one, James Weissman number two, Lamella Ball number three. I wonder if the Warriors will end up trading guys like Eric Pascal and Jordan Poole and the number two pick for, I don't know who, but someone else, you know, so they can kind of almost instantly have a big team ready to go. Because do they want to wait for these young players to marinate while Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond keep getting older and older? I want to say probably not. I think a trading option could be a thing. All right, we've got a couple Zions now. That's nice. There you go. So Pelicans, Nick Stone with those Zions. Which, hold on, which owner? Coop. Oh, Cooper saying owner can now decide to stay and the team becomes more desirable for buyers. Rigged. No worries, Nick. Good randomizer for you, too. I don't think we've seen a scorecard yet, right? I know, sorry. I've been paying attention to the draft lottery. But I don't think we've seen a scorecard yet. I've been pulling the bronze parallels, though. Obviously, all of these rookies are going to ship. Like the Hachimura, like the Nun. I think these prisms, right, are shorter printed. Oh, the T-Wolves looking to sell the team. I see, I see. I didn't miss any other prism cards, did I? I know 
those prism cards are almost like update cards. So consequently, they've got some great value on the secondary market. Okay, I didn't think I missed anything. I gotcha. So the so Cooper is saying that the T Wolves owner was looking to sell the team. So he's arguing, hey, maybe they get the number one pick. They inflate the value of the team for potential buyers. Interesting. Yeah, there you go, Rick. I'm 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 hoping that that's a little LeBron James mojo. There's some bronze right there. Need him need him to do need him to do some work. Adam's thinking LaMelo to the Hornets. See, I wonder if the Warriors will move guys like this. What are some, what are some big names that are... What are some big names that are going to be on, on expiring contracts? Now there's Zion. Basically, who can the Warriors get if they package up the number two pick and then Eric Pascal from last year, Jordan Poole from last year? What, what can they get? Giannis? Adam saying, interesting. Do the do the Bucks take that number two pick plus Pool and Pascal? Might take a little bit more than that, but Pool and Pascal did okay last year in limited time. My argument, of course, was you know just a few minutes ago I said this. My argument, of course, was the the Warriors. You know they can't wait for these young players to marinate. You know, I think they want to win now with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green getting older. You would think they want to win now, right? Another John Moran for Gilo. I don't know. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to study some rosters and some contracts, but I think that's gonna be a much discussed possibility throughout the, uh, throughout the remaining weeks and months leading up to, leading up to the draft. All right, that was the first box. A lot of fun stuff there, you know? This is a retail set, so really the emphasis are on these rookie cards, you know, it's these LeBron James cards. Depending on the on the product, on the brand, like Prestige or Flux or Luminance or whatever the case may be, will have different value. Ray, what's the what's the total? I feel like both teams. I don't know. That's that's a good question. I feel like the Lakers want to slow down the Blazers. At the same time, both teams aren't really aren't really super sharp. Aren't really locked down defenders. But you know the Lakers want to slow down the pace. I'm not good with totals. With point totals, I did take a side though. I I have the I have the Blazers plus six and a half. I think the Lakers win. The money line was way too, way too big. But, um, but I think uh, I think it'll be close. I think Lakers win, but the, the Trailblazers will cover. If you look at the Trailblazers' recent games, especially since the restart, a lot of their games have been really close. I mean, look how close the Nets got to beating them. So, I think they had a number of other games like that too, where. 
Or it's big, it's big. Cut it a little close. Nick S took the same bet. Blazers by six and a half. I mean, you're giving Dame six and a half points. I could see him hitting like a. Uh, I could see them being like down by ten in the last thirty seconds or something. Dame three and a foul, and then boom. <laughs> Total is two twenty nine and a half. Anyone have any? Anyone have any? Uh, anyone want to take a take a gander at what what that would be over or under? Ter I'm terrible at totals, so I can't do them in football. I can't do them in basketball. I'm not that much better at picking sides, but I know I'm better at it. <laughs> We need, we need this guy to start doing some work right here. Let's go, AD. You know, I want to see plays like this. Diving into the paint, going for the going, going into the basket. That's what I want to see. I think we need more of that. You know, can't do jump shots, AD. Gotta get in there. Announce your presence with authority. There's another Zion right here, and a bronze LeBron James. That's pretty cool. Another Zion. There you go, a little Zion run here. Pelicans, Nick Stone. All of these add up, man. All of these. You're spotted. How much was how much was this break? Yeah, your spot's probably easily covered with a handful of Zions. Everything else. Just profit now. And if you uh, might be worth getting some of these graded, if they grades out nice. There's copper LeBron James, which is exclusive to this set. Now, I don't think the bronzes are numbered. I don't think anything is numbered, to be honest with you. Some heroes, some Giannis's, some Kobe Whites, more Tyler heroes right here. All right, got another Kobe White. Got a luminance, John Moran. I, I love the photography on this. Now, someone was telling me, because I had made a comment, man, look at him just postering Kevin Love. But someone was like, no, you know what? He missed that dunk. So it's kind of a funny story there. The Tyler Hero bronze in the XR edition for Robert Victoria. Luka Doncic Flux. I hear these Flux cards out of the Chronicles has been doing really nicely, especially for the rookies. That's for the Mavs. That'll be for Michael Lyons. There's Le LeBron warming up, saying Omaha, Omaha, calling football plays. Good arm, LeBron. There you go. 
Touchdown. So they're loose. Lakers are loose. They're not worried. They're pros. Got Bronze Jackson Hayes. Another Zion. Some Tyler Heroes. More Zions. I don't think I've seen a scorecard, right? Did I miss any? Did I miss a scorecard somewhere? GPK, what's up? There's the bronze, Jackson Hayes, a couple Zions. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that, Nick. As, as a Lakers fan, what if the Blazers win this game? What do we think about the series then? I guess it's how they lose. If it's like, if the Lakers were dominating the entire way and then Dame just buries a three at the end to win it, I won't be as concerned. But again, it's how it's how how do they lose? If they lose like the way they did in Game One, then I think I think maybe could be sad times for my Lakers, and they'll be crying Joe face. I don't know if I'll cry, but I'll be very unhappy. <laughs> There's the Darius Baisley bronze. Darius Baisley playing some good hoop. That goes to Anthony. Got the thunder in a trade. Hi, JP. Uh, my name is Joe. I think I guess you can call me Mr. Card Guy. That's cool, too. Uh, dude, we, we have never busted open garbage pail kids. We might have some, uh, we might eventually have some on our personal breaks channel. And that's only on Instagram Live, at Jaspies Breaks. I can drop that information for you. I don't think we have any on the site, but... Oh, do we have on some on personals? Sean Jaspi, Sean Corbin in the chat often does personals with us too. So yeah, check out the other site. There's DeMontis Sabonis, Pacers. That goes to Jeremy33. The rare autograph in these retail sets. Good finish right here, man. These days there's so so many so many. I know I missed a lot of cards, but I, there's so many potential with some of these rookies. Kendrick Nunn hasn't really even been playing the couple playoff games, but he was really good during the reseeding games, so he's got value in the playoffs. There's Zion right here. Kendrick Nunn. Great, yeah. If you email support, you don't need to. You don't need to let me know. Thanks though, Ray. Luka Doncic, Jordan Poole. Bronze. I guess bronze are the exclusive. Let me top load this. Bronze for the Warriors. Ja Morant is nice. I mean, he he's going to be your presumptive. Rookie of the Year, I would imagine, this year. There you go. And, of course, LeBron James. And there you have it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was two-box break of 2019-2020 Panini Chronicles ba uh, Basketball Fat Pack Edition. Random Team 6. Another two boxes in the store. Check it out. And I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.